Hey everyone, this is Trash07 with another video tutorial. This time it's on 3D Studio Max. I'm about to do a Jack Daniels bottle using mainly lofts. Uh, so, to start, I have some some units here, some, some measurements I made from, a, from the bottle. Uh, basically, what I'm doing right now is it's, it's, it's creating a, a rectangle. This rectangle will serve as a base. I will ha I will have a, a round corner so that I can have that shape of the bottle. Uh, since we're using lofts, I will be basically working with two with two rectangles for the for the lower shape of the bottle. Uh, I'm using uh, y uh, units in uh, centimeters. I've 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 done it in the 3D Studio Max uh, unit setup. So you you can see the you can see right here I have some some numbers. This is the major this is the measurement of the uh, of the circles and the rectangles I'm about to create, and it has several circles. The the lower part are the circles uh, in in the lower part are circular, and the circles in the upper part are uh, with the star shape, uh, kind of. Uh, right, I'm not using circles. I'm using n-gon, since it's easier to control the number of, of vertices. I'm I'm going to create, and it's it's so I can have uh, like 16 sides and it will figure out t it will turn out to be better when you're doing the loft and the sh and the shape of the mesh uh, the lines and and things like that look more 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 uh, correct more ac 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 accurate uh, so i'm creating several circles right now and gone, sorry. Uh, you'll notice that I will have in the circles on the lower part are um, are circular. The upper part are of a corner radius, so that so that so that I can do that uh, that that upper part of the bottle which is not circular. And you'll notice also that I've put eight sides not 16 since the, the since when we are doing the corner it will had uh, it will had uh, eight more sides and we'll have 16 sides now I'm just copying several circles this part should take a little bit I'm using shift and I drag the 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 angon so that I can so that it automatically copies the the geometry and and so you can see that it's the clone option option sorry In my next tutorial, I'll be covering the the texturing of the bottle. This this tutorial is just the standard shape. It's just uh, the way I do the Jack Daniel's bottle shape. Uh, it's basically using lofts, so you can. It's 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 easy tutorial. You can follow it at home, uh, and and do it yourself. It's not very complicated. This is this. These two are the final shapes I'm about to create. I'm also going to create a line to make the loft, uh, so that I can make the loft follow a path. It, 
also th these these measurements are not accurate. So I've, I've I've stumbled on a website which had some some basic mm, some basic measurements, and I've I've looked at a reference photo and I tried to figure this out. Uh, okay, now we're going to create the line. I've used keyboard entry since it's easier and uh, and the line gets gets more accurate this way. Uh, I've chosen corner. I'm going to do the first point will be zero on the x axis, zero on the y axis, and zero on the z axis. And I'm going to create another uh, another vertex on the with with z with 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 z on 24 centimeters and 9 24.9 centimeters okay and the line is ready we're no we're, we're now just click the finish button and just okay finish and we're about to um, to work with our loft I'm just checking things out to see if everything is right if not created two lines or something like that okay well now we go to standard uh, compound objects we're going to create the loft we select loft and one thing we're going to do is to change the the per the distance, not the per percentage, since we are going to use measurements. We're going to do the first shape, which is the rectangle, which is the ba base shape of the bottle. Next, we will do another. We'll add another shape, which will be the same to the to the loft. I'm going to use roughly 1.86 or 85 centimeters for the next uh, step. You can see the green line over there. Uh, it's it's where the, the shape gets stored, and we're going to you mix. We're going to use another shape just to make that little corner on the base of the bottle. This is the dog. <laughs> I don't find the dog. Okay. Um we will use several several steps on this this on this bottle. Uh, the next step is on the f uh, with the 13 centimeters, which you can see the over the, the the green shape over there. It's it's the next step. I'm going to increase again the to, to I will increase to the ne to the shape with one eight point one point one centimeters so that I can have that that middle shape of the bottle <coughs> again this the, this these measurements are not accurate uh, I've tried to do the best that I can but it's not I've I do I do not own a Jack Daniels bottle uh, the measurements I had it's it's from a a near front perspective uh, photo with with the near front perspective. Uh, it's not it's not it's not the actual measurements. Uh, you'll s uh, this bottle. Okay, th this is the next step. You'll see that. It's okay. Uh, you could try some other methods at home, or you could try some some other shapes. Uh, I've tried a few ones, uh, and gone and rectangles work best for me.
Okay. This is you. You've basically seen what I've what I've been doing. I've been uh, increasing the, the the path and giving giving it uh, the shapes that form the the bottle. Uh, I'm near. I'm near the end of of the uh, of the lofting of the loft object. Uh, I'm about to do that that section of the of the top of the bottle, which is a bit little bit larger. It's al it also has some some details which we should be a little bit careful since the this section it's not circular it has some some edges and so we had to, I had to 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 use that th th those upper sh circles and with the star shape. I was about to say. Also, you you also notice that the mesh isn't quite accurate. Uh, this it's because it's because uh, the the number of vertices are not s the same on the rectangles and the circles. So it 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 the output is a mesh which is a little bit weird on the on that on that section you're you're seeing right now on the front view port. You're noticing the the edges now on the on the perspective viewport. Uh, uh, at the end, I will just leave the cap open on the top, and I will try to um, and I will give it a shell modifier so that I can have the interior o of the bottle. And it's basically done. Uh, hope you have enjoyed the tutorial and if feel free to post your comments on YouTube about this tutorial. Thanks, bye-bye.